If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out FIFA Ultimate Team Coins. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at our very first legend in FIFA 16 and that is Stoikov. I think that's how you say his name, the Bulgarian striker. Is he any good? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap place to get PSN cards or Microsoft points, check the link in the description and use the code ETONY to get a little discount. Now I want to let you guys know in FIFA 15 I really wanted to try this guy out but it was just so hard to get a hold of him and as you guys know how EA released the legends last year it was just fucked up and no one cared about them this year they released all of them at the same time which is i'm gonna give the major props for that because at least now we could get our you know get our hands on all the new legends to try them out um straight away from release day but i really wanted to try this guy out because if you look at his card stats he looks like one of the most balanced cards you'll ever get in ultimate team he has pace he has dribbling he has physical and he also has the shooting and decent passing as well so how does he really play on the pitch after trying him out for uh, a couple of matches, I have to say, first of all, he isn't the fastest of players. He is decently fast in the game, but uh, don't expect to don't expect to pace abuse, especially in FIFA 16. But one thing I really really enjoyed about him is how strong he was. Uh, compared to his in-game stats, I felt he was a bit stronger than I expected, and he could easily barge himself into the penalty area, but. His shooting was a bit hit and miss in my opinion, I mean I didn't actually score any long shots with him and if you guys look at my previous review which was, which was with Guarine, we scored pretty much um, 5 to 6 long shots with him and he isn't actually a very high rated player but he is actually the second best long shot taker in the game. Now he actually has an 87 shot on him and he has some really decent shot power stats and long shots so I did expect better from him when it came down to shooting from long range range so don't expect uh, any good long shots with him from this day I'm not sure if EA is going to patch it but from this day from this review I couldn't score uh, many long shots with him if any at all um, in the penalty area that's a different story he could pretty much finish anything you want he is amazing to finish with and that's exactly what you're purchasing a striker that could easily dribble into a penalty area he could pass it and assist other players and also he can score himself in the penalty area he is a very awesome clinical finisher so that is what you're expecting with uh, this Bulgarian striker. He's uh, He seems like a very strong striker with very nice balanced stats, minus the shooting from long range, if you could put up with that. And also for you skillers out there, this striker does not disappoint. He comes with four-star skills, which you could definitely take advantage of. And I love to skill with players that are actually strong because weak players normally get tackled very easily and dispossessed very easily, but not this Bulgarian striker. Stoikov, I think that's how you say his name. Correct me in the comment section below if I'm wrong. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Would you like me to review more cheaper players? Or uh, just carry on with the more expensive players as I go along. Let me know in the comment section below what would you prefer. Um, overall, I am going to be saying that he is an amazing legend. One of the best ones I have tried out. Uh, this year, I have a couple in my club now. And he is one of my favorite strikers. I still have the other old legends to try out uh, from the previous FIFAs. Because you never know how they're going to be. How you could abuse them in the, with the new mechanics in 16. Alright, so to summarize everything, he has decent pace good dribbling and one thing I wanted to highlight is his passing stats is incredible 85 passing in FIFA 16 is amazing because as you guys know well I know actually passing is one of the most important attributes in this game make sure you build a team around the passing attribute you really are gonna re be using it because that's what this game is basically based on so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button other than his long shots i would say he's a great con to use one of the best legends i have used i have a couple in my club and let me know in the comment section below would you like me to keep reviewing uh very expensive legends or very expensive cards or you know move move down to the cheaper cards for you new guys out there so let me know in the comment section below he is gonna get a 9 out of 10.